we have George's Aquaponics Blueprint. The School of Aquaponics. Okay, so let's get busy. So let's give everyone a quick uh, overview of what we're looking at here in this diagram so you can see what's going on. So we have our sump tank here at the lowest point in the system. It has a pump that's gonna be put inside of here. The pump is gonna come up and it's gonna connect to three fish tanks. Um, in each one of these fish tanks, I'm gonna assume that you have ball valves on each one so you can control the flow um, for each of the tanks. And each one of the tanks is gonna gravity feed back into a drain, which is gonna then come down um, to a, a, a swirl filter that's gonna be slightly lower than, this, than the outlet of these fish tanks. And then it's gonna connect to the swirl filter um, from there, it's going to come out and it's going to um, split flow into the grow bed section over here. And then it's going to split flow into the duckweed into a fodder section that you have um, set up. So let's go back through this once again and we can go step by step to find out if everything, if anything in the system will work or if it won't work or what we can fix. So sump tank, boom, we got that. That's perfect. We got a pump in there that's going to come up. When you have right here, it says clean water or, and, return, re, and return pump. I think that this might be an error um, because there's nothing clean coming from the fish tank back to the sump tank. So I think that might be some error that went on there because uh, anything coming back from the fish tank is going to be dirty. It's going to have, have, filled, have solids all in it. So I think that's an error there. So we'll keep going up. Boom. So this is fine. As long as we have our ball valves to, to maintain or to control the flow for each of the fish tanks, then this here is fine. This works. Split the flow. We have them all... Um, uh, separated that works comes down they each have their own outlet which is going to connect into the swirl filter boom this looks fine thus far thus far this looks fine so we have the swirl filter now this is the uh, this you have to be uh, particularly uh, uh, mindful of of the flow rate that's coming into the swirl filter and you have to make sure that you have the correct um, correctly sized filter because if we have too fast of a flow rate coming through then the solids aren't going to be able to swirl and settle to the bottom the only thing that's going to be swirling in this filter are the solids leaving out the outlet and going into the grow bed into your duckweed. That's the only thing that's going to be swirling. So we got to be mindful there and make sure that the uh, flow is not too fast or the swirl filter is not too small. So then it comes out. This is fine here. This is fine. So it comes out. You have it split in both ways. So let's focus on the um, on the grow bed here. So we have it coming down. We have three separate grow beds. And all we need to do is make sure we have ball valves on each one you have to control the flow i don't know if this is these are flooding drains or if these are just continuously flowing media uh, media beds but if they're flooding drain you're definitely going to have to do some einstein e equals mc squaring to figure out the correct flow rate for each one of these gr uh, gravel grow beds so the siphon could um could um uh, initiate so from there you have your we got that's fine that works out and then we have the drain portion um, that's fine too. As long as they're, they're all going to be separate, coming down to a drain, which is going to be connected back into the sump tank. That works. That works. Um, so on the other half of the swirl filter coming out on the to, to the left uh, side, we have it going to the duckweed um, and to these fodder tanks. Now you just need to make sure that there's ball valves on these as well. You have to control the flow coming into each one of these, um, and then those are going to connect out. They're all going to have their own outlet. And they're going to connect back to have a drain line that's connecting back to the sump tank. So, I mean, overall, this this system will work here. This will work. This definitely will work. Um, I really don't have too much negative to say about it, even though I don't rock with, you know, the type of the gravity fed type of systems. I prefer pressure and everything split flow. You did a good job with the split flows, um, but they're under gravity. So the way that I would design this, I just give you this. I mean, this this is fine here. Um, but the way I would design this, if I was putting this particular system together is um, I would have it the, the sump tank with the pump and I would have each one of these sections off. I'd have the, the, um, the, the, the line connect to the fish tank coming from the pump. Boom. That would be on its separate, its separate line. That would, it would do the same thing that you have it doing. Everything, uh, the, the fish tanks being drained into the swirl filter, but the swirl filter wouldn't connect to these other two beds. The swirl filter from there would come uh, back down. Um, into the sump tank. That's where that would that's where that would connect. And then I would have another pipe coming out of the pump that would connect to the gravel beds. And then it would be it would split flow similar to how you have it here. And then they would all drain and come back to the um, the sump tank as you have it. And then I would have the other line um, split to the fodder and the um, duckweed area. And I would have those all under pressure. Um, and and I would have those all controlled. The only thing is it would require more pipe. It's more pipe. Well, maybe not even more. Yeah, slightly a bit of more pipe. Yeah, it would require more pipe, a little bit more pipe, 
which is not too much too big of a deal um but it would give allow more control because if something happens here with the fish tanks guess what everything else is out of order everything else is out of order if something happens with these fish tanks and you need to take deep take those offline every the whole system's off where if you had it set up the way i have it set up with the split flow if we take the fish tanks out of the um equation then oh well then they're just out of the equation. I still got flow going to the gravel bed, and I still got flow going to the fodder. So I'm still I'm still good. I'm not just relying on every single um, uh, component to work in order to get to the next phase of the the swirl filter. So the fish tank has to work in order to get to the swirl filter. The swirl filter has to work in order to get to the gravel beds. And uh, so I'm not just depending on that. Even though this would work, and this is a pretty decent design. It's a pretty decent design. I see what you're um, you're doing. We just have to make sure all these things are correctly sized in here for this to work efficiently. But overall, it's a good job. Um, thy design has been approved. So um, all you need to do is get building, and you'll be one step closer to becoming an aquaponics god. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo!